Welcome to Babcock Hoops Q&A Sessions. I'm Raquel Rodriguez. Today we're catching up with this year's Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year, Tyler Bay from the University of Colorado. He's a power forward from Las Vegas and an incredible athlete. As Bay prepares for the 2020 NBA Draft, he's giving us an insight into his journey and what he sets out to accomplish. Tyler, can you tell us a little bit about what it was like growing up in Las Vegas? Yeah, I mean, growing up in Las Vegas is not a place for kids. Uh, everyone comes here to just uh, come here and turn up, um, enjoy themselves when they turn 21. Um, for me as a kid, uh, it was really just my mom and my sister just um, grinding it out. My mom had two jobs, and it was really hard for us three just because, like I said, she had two jobs. She's barely home. My, my sister was always taking care of us. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, Vegas is always active, but as a kid, there's always like parties and stuff. So you just gotta learn how to work, work your way around it. And that's that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. You opted to reclassify and spend a year developing at Middlebrooks Academy. What went behind that decision and to deciding to take that route? Yeah, so for me, I didn't have the grades to go just straight to D1 out of high school. So uh, it was either the Juco route or prep school. Um, obviously I chose the prep school route. Um, during that process, I had to get my grades straight and you now I figured uh, I figured out how to just, you know, just get past classes and have good grades. Um, and it got me where I'm at today. Yeah, you had your choice of several schools, including a Pac-12 rival in Arizona State. Can you take us through that recruiting process and what ultimately led you to Colorado? Yeah, my recruiting process was fun. Uh, it really blew up my last year of prep school. Uh, I had like 30 offers. Um, when it came to Colorado, I originally wanted to go to San Diego State. I probably committed there. Um, ASU was my second choice. And then once I visit, once I went to Colorado for my official visit, I just automatically fell in love with it. Uh, Will talked about how he believed in me, how I could be a pro, and how he could develop me into the player I am today. And it all worked out, honestly. Yeah, and Boulder is definitely a beautiful place to be, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> you were able to compete against your cousin Jamal Bay from uh, what? The, who's at the Washington Huskies. What was that experience like? It was fun. My family was there. Uh, we played, we both played each other. And it's something that is crazy because we grew up together and we never thought we would play in a D1 or Pac-12 against each other. So it was definitely a great experience. Uh, I love playing against my cousin, have my family there, have the support. So it was, it was great. Your coach from Colorado, Coach Tad Boyle, is described as one of the best defensive coaches in college basketball. How would you describe playing for him, and what was your biggest way with being with him for three years? I would say Coach Boyle is one of those guys who uh, he finds a way to just make it work for you. Um, he's one of those guys that's he's going to talk to you, he's going to get on your head, he's going to make you feel bad about yourself. But at the end of the day, he, he's a guy who really cares. Um, when it comes down to like what he did with my game, it's really just simple. Uh, just paying attention to detail, being able to be coachable, um, all those little things. But other than that, he's a great coach off the court. He still talks to me to this day. So, you know, I appreciate him more than ever. The Pac-12 has one of the richest histories in college basketball. How did you feel playing against such high level competition? And how has that prepared you for the NBA? It definitely prepared for me in the NBA just because uh, my freshman year, I want to say we went against like people like DeAndre Aiden, Alondra Trier, uh, those type of guys. It just shows you that you can compete with them. Uh, it gives you confidence that, you know, if you get better, you can even be better than these guys. Uh, you know, people like Josh Green, uh, Nico, you know, like I said, it just gives you confidence that you can compete against these guys and play at the same level as them. So ultimately, how will you remember your time at Colorado? Man, it was fun. Uh, the brotherhood I built there, the friendships, I think that it'll last for a lifetime. Um, my teammates, we were so close. So it was hard to leave, honestly, just because our bond was just so different, so so close. We could talk to each other, have fun with each other. And you know, I just I just loved how we all, um, we all got a vibe with each other on the court and off the court. So that's something I definitely miss is my teammates. Yeah, and I'm sure it was challenging to kind of have that time cut short, of course, due to, to the pandemic back in March. Uh, what was that like for you kind of, you know, I think you guys were in the middle of the Pac-12 tournament and then had to be yeah. sent home. 
Yeah, we had we had just lost to Washington before mm-hmm. they cut all the games off. Mm-hmm. So for us, we were just we were heartbroken, but at the same time, we just felt like uh, we should have played better. We should have played like it was our last game, which it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we just took everything for granted, honestly. And speaking of achievements in your time at Colorado, you won the Pac-12 Defensive Player of the Year this year, in addition addition to repeating it as an all-conference selection. Is that something you specifically so set out to achieve this season? Yeah, I mean, I've been hanging my hat on since my hang I've been hanging my hat on Defensive Player of the Year since I got to Colorado. Uh, it's something I talked about since I got there, something I wanted to win. I feel like I was capable of winning my freshman year, and, and that just gave me the confidence to keep going, keep trying for it. Uh, I hang my hat on defense, so I take pride in defense a lot. So winning all that was was huge for me, honestly. Can you walk us through a typical day as you currently prepare for the NBA draft? Yeah, uh, I wake up at 9, uh, eat. I got workouts at 10. Um, from there, I, I lift at 11, uh, come back, come back home, Usually I have like a couple of interviews. Um, after that, I go back at three and then I get another workout in and have the rest of the day to myself. Uh, usually I spend time with my family, uh, friends. I only got a couple of friends. So I really just play video games most of the day though. <laughs> yeah, besides basketball, what other interests and hobbies do you have? Uh, video games is like some I play every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's. I just stay out the way uh, and just keep it simple. I don't want to do too much during this time. So, mm-hmm. what's your favorite video game? Uh, I've been playing this game called Rocket League a lot. Okay. <laughs> so I've just been playing that every day. Uh, it's pretty fun though. Call of Duty, uh, 2K, all the simple stuff. Yeah, that sounds fun. That's for sure, and a good way to keep yourself entertained, especially if you yeah. want to stay in and be safe during all of this. Um, for those who are unfamiliar with your game, would you mind giving us a rundown of who you are as a player on the court? Yeah, I'm a guy who's who loves to play defense, uh, take pride in it, um, energetic, very – I have a high motor. Um, I would love to say that I love to run the floor, love to dunk the ball, love to get easy baskets. Um, but I think defense is the, the base of my game. Um, it's something I really just – honestly just love to do and a lot of people don't love to do it they're not comfortable so I think just me just playing basketball is you know I just let the game come to me and and, you know I just play honestly no pressure what is one player you like to model your game after Uh, I would say Sean Marion I loved his game Uh, I think that I could be somewhere just like him Um, and that's pretty much it I I would say that Andre Roberson is a guy who I look up to. He went to Colorado as well, so got to say him. And I'll probably say those two guys are it. What are some things you'd like to work on and improve on your game? My shooting ability, my ability to handle the ball. I think those are two. Uh, those are the two main things I need to work on. Just being consistent every day. Uh, but that's pretty much it. What are some aspects you feel that you've grown the most during your time at Boulder and in these past three years? I would say just mentally wise, I learned how to you know get through things, um, not only get through them, but finish them correctly, such as like school, uh, going to class, taking care of my grades. I always hated school. So for me, that was a big accomplishment just to go there and just take care of business. Mm-hmm. So let's pretend you just entered an elevator with a general manager. What is your pitch to this guy about why he should select you? Yeah, I would say that I'm a guy who loves to do the dirty work, uh, the dirty work that no one loves to do, um, like diving on the floor, uh, guarding the best player on the court. Um, like I said, I take pride in defense. So if it's a the game's on the line, you know, if coach puts me in, then he expects me to go out there and get a stop. You know, I'm going to do all I can to go do that. Um, I'm a guy who loves to get better, see yourself get better. I'll stay in the gym as much as I can. Um, that's pretty much it. Sounds like a really good pitch. Tyler Bay from the University of Colorado, we really appreciate you joining Epcot Hoops Q&A session, and we look forward to watching your career. Thank you. Appreciate you.